Hey, me, Grandpa. Like what you see? Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe then. Please touch my furs. Pull out a hair and blow it to the enemy. When it lands on an enemy, summon a clone that performs a cudgel. Hits up to four times to enemies within 10 meters. Every cudgel hit deals weapon damage based on the held weapon. Soul Strike has additional effects based on the weapon type. Each enemy can be struck by cudgel once in a single Soul Strike. Draw out... And so that's the, your cooldown, your E button, 12 second cooldown. Draw out Soul Essence from your bracelet, dealing 1050 damage to up to four enemies, reducing their movement speed by 90% or 0.25 seconds, and extracting their souls to enhance your own weapon, plus two temporary weapon levels for six seconds. I think the main theming with the monkey is that it seems to have a lot of synergies with your weapon levels. You want your weapon level to go as high as possible, I guess. I mean, you, you usually want that anyway, right? Uh... So, like the last run, we had that was a really high level weapon that we had. So the last run would have gone really well uh, with it, I'd say. All right. I don't know. I don't really know which way to go. Co-op this week? Sure, I'll do. I'll do some co-op this week. Probably not today. Probably not tomorrow. But plus one soul strike uses plus forty percent weapon damage for every. Cudgel hit performed up to 10 spacks. Spacks? Stacks. Reset when taking damage from an enemy. Just don't get hit. I don't really know what the other ones are. The other blessings, right? So. Soul Strike is the E. So you can get up to plus 400% weapon damage. But when I get hit, it gets reset. Uh, let me just confirm. Full strike is indeed the E. Whoops. I used right there. All right. Guess we'll try it out. What do you got for me, Argus? Hey, the Lightning Kasana is one of the new ones. But it doesn't really make sense for us, unfortunately. I'll still try it. Shooting at teammate deploys a damage blocking shield. Damage being blocked or causing no scope. Crit hits gains charges. Hi, wife. So maybe we want high weapon damage. We'll try it. Oh, it's a special weapon. Let's see how we do. Dun 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 dun. My life is brilliant. Can I, I can't hold down the button. So there's that's the Q. You get a little lasso. Get the cowboy monkey it up. Oh you, oh it's a scoped weapon. I didn't even realize that. I don't like scoped weapons. <laughs> Okay. Deal lightning damage to surrounding enemies. The damage is affected by your... Yeah, sure. Doesn't do anything wrong. I don't have the heart of the sniper. I don't. It's not my forte. I tend to miss a lot. you think the scope would make you miss less, but... I mean, if it's like a multiplayer online game, right? I'll, I'll scope in the back all day. Here's the E button. I guess that's our clone there. Another scoped weapon? Boo! Boo this game. I'm gonna go back to that vault. Hmm. What do we want to do here? Enhanced firearm. Upon killing enemies or dealing damage with SS chain, essence chain, the next five shots consume no ammo. The lower the enemy's total HP, the higher damage you deal, up to 80%. It's gotta be eradication, right? Yeah, big sniper shots. I can't, but I can't. 
I can't. I can't. Oh, yeah, swords, yeah. 184, 180. Missile launcher? Ugh. I've never got those to work. I've gotten, like, the mortar to work, but not the actual tiger cannon or whatever the fuck. What? Is that? Oh. They're, tri they're a tricky bunch, these enemies, let me tell you. All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, uh, uh. That's so incredible for us, right? Because we're going big E's. We're going for the big E's, right? So minus 50%. So our primary skill is our E button, which is what we already took some stuff for. Duo launchers. I think I even recorded a video of me using them and I won, but it, it still it went so horribly that I still didn't bother with it. I think it's been a long time. So it's hard to say. Hello. Hello. Welcome, Big E's. Oh my God, the sword! Five hundred and sixty-four damage. Near, near. How much damage is this gonna deal? Apparently zero. What the fuck was that? Can't even really tell what's going on. All right, we won though. Gain immunity to all curse scrolls, nice and early. So that's something we can consider now. Oh. So it seems like it chains enemies in some way. Not really a hundred percent. As to how that's working exactly. I'd have to read like everything I picked up again to fully understand it. It looks pretty cool. Yeah, you have no idea how E works. Yeah, we'll just keep playing and it'll it'll figure itself out, right? Soul Strike is our E button. Fun killing enemies are dealing damage to us and change that. No, so it's got to be this one, right? It's it is Soul Strike, right? <laughs> Keep mi yeah, 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 soul strike. Pull out a hair. When it lands on the enemy, summon a clone that performs cudgel hits up to four times to enemies within 10 meters. So it changes to the different enemies within each other. Just like this, chat. Every cudgel hit deals weapon damage based on the held weapon. Soul strike has additional effects based on the weapon type, which enemy, each enemy can be struck by cudgel once in a single soul strike. Okay, so it hits up to four and chains up to four enemies nearby when you use it. Each enemy can only be hit once, it would appear. I think. It, wait, it did say it scaled. What's the Q do? Well, I already read it. I already read it once. Chains also up to four enemies, reducing their move speed and giving me temporary weapon levels. So you get Q into E to get the temporary level up, uh, weapon levels. Probably. Wait, it does say it scales weapon damage somewhere, right? Every cudgel hit deals weapon damage based on the held weapon. Okay. I think I understand. Did I miss the vault, chat? Daddies? Shatteroos. No, I think I did it.
no machine guns yeah so probably katanas and stuff like that all right i'm beginning to understand if i miss with the e it's pretty bad though hey, what happened to all that extra damage i just picked up game hello never loved the poison one Get out of here Fire tower has a higher base damage, right? Put that in the trash. What's that? It's garbage. Primary skill capacity plus two? What? All right. Can you stack temporary weapon levels by spamming Q? Uh, so I have a scroll that gives us gives our Q a cooldown, so can't actually do that. 884 on the boner dragon. It's a plus two. Maybe I'm willing to take it. And just ditch the piercing flame for now. 195, 167. Look at the things on look at the affixes on that. Descriptions, whatever they are. This right now has the highest base damage, it looks. <laughs> <laughs> I got an achievement. Yay. Minus 50% dash cooldown. I'll take that. Let's look at the damage on these. 750 on glowing light. Glowing light. This isn't bad, but we might as well hold out and not spend money. Ah, uh, there's a fire tower. 910. It's slightly more. I might want to just do the bone dragon. What do y'all think? Because it's pretty close to what the fire tower is, but it actually has range. And I've never really made a bone dragon build go get going. Yeah, just hold out. Because it's such a minor difference. Whether or not I actually start investing money in this is questionable, I think. Weapon type matters. Yeah, I don't know what it means by that exactly. So it might act a little bit differently depending on the type. Yeah, we'll try the boner dragon. I'm going to roll that, see if we can get better. It's really not that useful. It's not bad, I admit. But we need all the money we can muster, so... I'm going to vote nay, I think. You got to say it in the JD invoice. Is that, is that a JDN thing? The Boner Dragon or something? Does JDN say Boner Dragon a lot? I don't know if I can do a good JDN. It's very like... His voice is kind of like maybe he used to have a lot of chewing tobacco or something. I'm gonna say... Oh, that did not go well, I gotta say. I did not deal that much damage there. Wow, it's not like an insult. I don't know why I said that like that, but. Ow, uh-oh, don't die. Why aren't I dealing the damage, chat? E. It dealt 5105. Let's get the katana out to see if it acts any different. You might want to read some things, because that was not good, to be blunt. Right? Look, talking's hard, chat. What can I say? The smoke of blunt. I felt like that wasn't good. Plus one soul strike uses plus 40% weapon damage for every cudgel hit performed up to 10 stacks reset when taking damage from an enemy. So it's more about weapon damage, really. Yeah, it only hits each enemy once, so single target damage is really not good. Arm sealer is horrible for our current build and probably always will be. Ooh. 
Dash stacks 24 energy. Using a primary or secondary skill consumes all energy, increases skill damage, and increase skill damage by 1%. Plus, what? Plus 1% percent skill damage for each energy consumed. Fine? Gomble? I don't know. Yeah, the bosses is gonna be bad, right? Cause it only hits each boss like once. Hmm. Dash to build up. I mean, I'm dashing, baby. I'm dashing all over town. You don't gotta tell me twice. Here comes the sticky keys notification. I really need to not get hit. Cause uh, that resets some kind of stack I'm building up. The Raya's weapon. Oh, I didn't look at the damage. Every time I play any first person shooter, we get a lot of comments that are like, bro, they stole that animation straight from Overwatch or straight from Valorant or straight from Minecraft or some stupid shit. Like they always claim that it's like straight up stolen from some other first person shooter. But the reality is like, how many fucking ways can you reload a gun? <laughs> How many different ways can you animate reloading a gun? You know what I mean? <laughs> ah, look at the temporary level there now. It's 73 damage per level. This gets 102. Uh... Ooh, two soul strike things. Plus one meter range, plus two cultural hits for soul strike. So it chains up to two more chain chains up to two more en enemies, it sounds. Minus five second remaining cooldown. Point each time you defeat an enemy. If it hit the same enemies more than once, then it would be really useful, but I don't know which one's better. Probably the hits. I don't know. What do you think? Cooldown? Hits? Cooldown hits? Yeah. Both both are decent. Hmm. There's no harm in noting where visible inspiration came from. Oh, no. Like, if they're, if they're no making a nod to a specific game, that's fine, too. But... It, Usually the comments are more accusatory than like, oh wow, that looks just like, you know, the reload animation for this gun from Left 4 Dead or from Borderlands or something like that. It's not usually like that. It's like, yo, they straight up ripped that one from Borderlands. LOL. It's like, uh-huh. Um. Money? Straight up ripped it, chat. What do you think? Upgrade my bone? Let's upgrade my bone. It's a clone, yeah. Remember that silly, like, uh... Hades mobile kind of, like, rip-off in a way? It's like, yo, they ripped the assets from Hades. It's like, it didn't. I mean, it's it's a crappy looking clone of a game that's trying to ride the coattails of another game, but they di they didn't rip the assets. <laughs> like you can look pretty plainly, and, like nothing actually looks that similar, honestly. Yep, myths of Asgard, exactly. Everything work looks just like substantially worse is the reality also. <laughs> like if the assets were ripped, it would look way better, wouldn't it? Damn, look at that chain. That was nice. Yeah, if they had actually ripped the assets, it would have looked uh, way better. It's not Myths of Asgard? Wait, it's not? Wait, what's what's this wait, what what was what was it then? 
Was that not the name of it? Uh. Yeah, it was that kid, and I use the term kid because they're clearly a child. Whose uh, astounding idea was to basically trap 500 indie devs in a room to make them make a, an actually good game because all their games are normally shit otherwise, according to him. Right? Truly, a, a, you know, a mind of the century. I heard they're making Time Magazine this year, actually. Like with, the, with these inspirational clone monster ideas that they have. And then when someone disagreed, he's he just fucking launches. <laughs> launches into orbit. It's like proving some child wrong at the McDonald's playground or something and them throwing the, the balls from the pit at you or something. <laughs> uh. Uh, no, thank you. Five hundred devs could win the Super Bowl. <laughs> when pe when perform Soul Strike, the first cudgel hit will deal one hundred fifty percent damage. If the enemy is defeated by this cudgel hit, the next cudgel hit will also deal one hundred fifty percent damage. I'm just quickly reading the others, but it doesn't look like we want them. Okay, let's do that one. We talking about just rude people. They're everywhere. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, you can see the damage isn't quite the same when I actually have to kill uh, like a big enemy. Stuck. Ow. Oh, I'm almost dead. Please. Game. Healing powerful monster, apparently. Game. Game! We somehow won. Don't ask me how. Yeah, it's not looking great right now. No, damage is bad. Damage is bad. Cost coppers to refresh peddlers merch, including sold out merch. Like, I think it's trying to say I can spend the coppers. No, no. Has to be reversed. Okay. Yeah, one HP. I think that might have used something. I think the monkey has some, like, talent. Crit hit stacks 400. Using primary secondary skill consumes all energy, increases skill damage. Yeah, we looked at this one, right? Uh, synergies? Critical rush. Not long shot. Probably just stone skin, honestly. This one's a little different, is it? Oh, crit hit stacks for energy. I think I just still just take stone skin, honestly. Oh, I had that for the dash. That's right. Wait, cause, so could that... Could those both work in a way? Like, stack together? Interesting. Uh, I mean, as of this moment, we're not dealing a lot of crits. I'm sure eventually, though. Already did that. We're good to go. I'm not feeling that great about this one. I don't know, chat. Your first purchase at any peddler does not cost copper. We take that. If I roll this, because that's not great. It's not great, but it's not the worst. 
That cost me money. Shouldn't have. It's terrible. Yes? Seven seventy five. I can't afford that. What do you think this is? Maybe I don't etch yet. Oh crap! It gets more expensive as you. I thought it. I thought it capped out at like a, a thousand or something. Ooh, that could be rough then. Let me see. Does it say? Upon taking lethal damage from an enemy, HP is fixed at one. Become immune to damage for one second. Perform a cudgel hit, dealing 200% damage to that enemy. <laughs> if the enemy is killed by the cudgel, recover 100% of your shield. I think that's what happened. Oh, this guy. Okay. How long does a run take? Uh, if you do the optional zone... It's pro you're probably looking at an hour to an hour and a half on average. Slow them down, slow them down, baby. Didn't do that bad. I've done some fast runs where I start ignoring stuff, but it's 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 kind of nerve-wracking. And there's chances that you die still. Plus 25% lucky shot chance for the next shot. Huh? Cool down in three seconds. Refresh the cooldown upon defeating an enemy. No, probably just this. So hopefully we can just start chaining that, even if it's not that good for the bosses. That's too little damage. Uh This one's tough. I don't know. Ends out stupidly broken your bill gets? Yeah, that's true too. It's probably not that bad. I lose whatever lucky shot chance I currently have. There's a synergy apparently. Minus one cooldown for primary skill and dash when landing a crit hit. Uh, did I miss dab it from 17 miss minutes ago? I think I missed dab it. Dab it! Thanks for those 17 months, by the way. Andy, can you whisper them? I'm just kidding. What hat? No, that's not what I did. I mean, I'm, I think it can crit, but... Hmm... <laughs> Andy. Uh, I guess we pick it up. The Merciless or whatever it is. I like that boss so much better than the other boss. Slash whis Whisper actually whispers. Wait, it works? Yeah, hey, uh, yeah. Help me. Oh, that was weird. 20% chance for any scroll to become their enhanced version. It might still be copycat. I can't imagine... Cra I mean, Craftsman kind of makes sense with the monkey a little bit. Just to get the maximum upgrades and stuff. Admittedly. It also complicates the runs in a lot of way because you gotta pick out you gotta pick your scrolls and everything, so it's kind of just annoying. I'll do a cult booster just for fun, maybe. I don't think that's like a make or break choice, honestly. Go my cudgels. That looked alright. Ah, 
All right. All right. All right. No, thank you. We got a phantom peddler. Fire damage causes 2% more lifesteal. Whenever you inflict the burning effect, enemies also inflict burning on yourself. Huh? Wait, how's that enhance? That looks the same. I think I roll past that. That looks the same to me. That sounds pretty good, though. It must be different, but I, I, I can't fathom it. Oh, not just when I'm on fire. Yeah, it doesn't sound that great. All right, so if I, if I actually want to do this, I have to etch it now and spend all my money. Or I just don't etch. What would my... What would my synergy be? Not synergy. Gemini inscription. What would we want? Ammo capacity? Eh. Uh, the elemental doesn't make sense, right? Probably find a better one. Does that mean I don't bother enhancing it at all and saving my money? Maybe. Yeah, maybe we just start saving. Hello? We'll see what we can get. Okay, I should look closer at the weapons for sale then. See if we can swap out. I probably shouldn't have invested as much money as I did in it already. A bum. A bum. A bum. A bum. A bum. A bum. Yeah, it's still not that much damage, honestly. As you can see. Hello? Bleed a powerful monster. I couldn't think of anything else to call it other than a monster. Ugh. Oh, crit combiner. Poisonous. There's another bone dragon. Just go for it. Lose a little bit for now. Wrong button. Oh, this one's enhanced magazine plus 50%. I didn't realize that. Check in. It's not great, admittedly. Let's take the other poisonous ghost, I guess. Okay. Full HP and plus 50 max shield armor for 20 seconds. All right. Non-elemental weapons will cause... No! I just got rid of my non-elemental bony dragon. Oh, man. I might still take it, honestly. I might still take it, yeah. We'll hold out. See if we can find something better. Simpsons trivia. Yeah, maybe we'll hold out for a non-elemental. This will be kind of like a non-elemental build. Let's see, what episode did I watch? You know what I, wife and I just rewatched was the movie. Which I had not seen in so long. The movie's pretty good. It's not like... Hmm... It doesn't always hit the same notes, but it's, it's not bad, I think. You ready to feel old, chat? That movie came out 15 years ago. Ooh, what about the Shrieker? You're not gonna know these ones? I don't know if I can think of like a good trivia for that. I can I can do like basic ones. Didn't hit for you? Yeah, it's it's not that good, but rewatching I was kinda like, you know what, it's not bad. Let's try this. Shall we? 
Would have guessed 20, 2008, 2007. 2007, chat. Let me see. Let me see. Okay, I got it. I got one from the movie in particular. Okay, I'll start off with an easy one. How's that? Name the antagonist from the movie. First name, last name, whatever you can muster. Ipa? Not, well, you have to do better than Ipa, I'm going to say. Arnold? No, not really. I thought this was an easy one. Not Homer. I wanted to, I was hoping you to remember. Okay, okay, okay. Linking trivia. The character also did the voice for Hank Scorpio. Sorry, the actor also did the voice for Hank Scorpio. And originally they were gonna have Hank Scorpio be the antagonist in the movie. I don't know if that actually helps you, but... I'm looking at the damage here. Why I say that? First shot after each 10 seconds will deal crit damage. Stacks up to 10 times? That's insane for us, actually. Buy both of those, I think. Monorail? God damn it, chat! I, this was supposed to be the easy question! Ooh, the mortar is almost okay, but the damage is quite a bit lower. Cargill is correct. Russ Cargill. Also, uh, the voice actor also did the voice for, uh... Did I go past something or am I crazy? Oh, we want to go up for the Shrieker now, I think. Um... I've never done a Shrieker run anyway, so... Oh, wait, I'm broke. Fuck. Wait, I already did it? Even more fuck. Wait, did I do the wrong one? Chat? Did I do the wrong one? I meant to do the Shrieker. I think I was supposed to do the other one. Spider Pig? Yeah. Alright, alright. Here's a, here's an actually easy one. I did the Bone Dragon before I got the Shrieker? Okay. That makes me feel better, at least. Uh, here's an actually easy one. What state do the Simpsons move to after being shunned by Springfield? Alaska is correct. A Alaska is indeed the state that they moved to. How? Okay, so when they get to the, uh, when they're entering the state of Alaska, uh, our border patrol trooper hands them what? Money is correct. Extra points if you can say the amount. Because apparently, I think I think this is actually true that residents of Alaska get a stipends from the government from the oil companies or something like that. I think it's a thousand bucks. Pretty sure it's a thousand bucks, but I'm not certain. Don't I have immunity to curse scrolls? Pretty sure. Gain immunity to all curse scrolls. Upgrade the selected weapon by three. What do you think? Plus three levels or an exclusive inscription? I don't know. What do you think, chat? Um, plus three? Solicitors can be fun, yeah. True for that. I kind of need to catch up, though. Oh, you get 200... Oh, wait, no. That's for all three levels, probably. In that case, the Bone Dragon probably scales up faster, right? Slightly. Twelve seventy-seven. Yeah, whatever. Monkey needs weapon levels? Yeah, that's true. Let's see, can I think of any more? Oh, who was the quote-unquote emperor 
of Springfield that was under the dome when the Simpsons returned. Normal description is added to your weapon, which takes effect when the weapon is enhanced by Essence Chain. Upon killing enemies or dealing damage to Essence Chain, the next five shots consume no ammo. I guess this one. Ralph is not correct. Mo is correct. Mo was the new emperor of Springfield. Mr. Ass? You're Mr. Ass. You suck. Uh, we're good? We're good. Hello? Come bump, come bump, come bump. Let me see, can I think of any others about the movie? Hmm. There's gotta be more about the movie I can do. Please. Damn it. Does the cudgel deal more damage for every enemy it chains to? I don't actually know. I don't know. If I think I'm any, I'll let you know. Oh, please stop hitting me. I feel about them. I feel like when it came out at the time, I was kind of like, mm, 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 that kind of thing. But rewatching it now, it's kind of, you know, it's not bad. You know, it's not so bad. I did try to watch, I think, uh, an episode. I don't know what season number it was, but I think the episode was like 2016, was the year that it came out. And, uh, ooh, where's Hades? Oh, get fucked, uh, jerk. <laughs> I don't know what you expected for uh, something like that. Following since 32 seconds ago. What a kind, gentle nerd. Uh... Dang, that's pretty good though, huh? I think we'll do that. They supposedly brought back a lot of the early writers. Yeah, I don't know what you're expecting with a message like that. Oh, it's just kidding. It's just goofing around. I'm new here, you see. It's like, well, maybe you shouldn't act that way. Picking up copper, ammo, recover one HP. Not bad. No, 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 no. Right? Maybe I should look a little bit harder at the damage. Do 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 Rainbow. This edge is going to cost more money because I leveled it up, huh? That sucks. What can you do, though? I guess the double crit? Crit stacking or something like that? I don't know. All enemies transform into Dizabor after being defeated. Look at those juicy crits. 55k? I think that's what it is, at least. I kind of forget what the everything means, to be precise. So the cooldown gets lowered for every enemy I kill, so we should be able to chain this, assuming I don't miss too badly. Okay. Come on, go away. Come on. Alright, looks good. Is there a vault in every level you enter? Yes. 
No, you gotta look around? Wait, what the hell does that mean? There's one in every level. Plus 1% skill damage for every 5 total max HP you currently have. This isn't the run where I have veteran, right? I'm at zero? Maybe that's an oversight because I don't really remember that. Ever. Weird edge cages where there sometimes aren't. Gotcha. So for essentially, yes. Rare occasions, no. What I'm hearing. Uh, wasn't there a blacksmith? Plant spores on hit. Does anyone ever use this spores, Gemini, by the way? I've tried. I've, I've tried to use it on the dog and stuff, and I still couldn't really get it going, honestly. I mean, I'll admit that I kind of threw the dog by the wayside eventually. Uh, do I want to take that over the bone, bone dragon for any particular reason? Oh, hello. I gotta think about this when it comes to some things. That hit pretty hard. 129k? That's pretty hard, right? Lucky shot chance plus 20%. Hold on. Magazine. I guess there's kind of no point in getting rid of the bone dragon. Because I'm not going to use this either way. Never go for it. It just doesn't seem... Uh... A reasonable thing for a lot of it. It seems like it's a very specific Gemini that only works in a couple of very select instances. Okay, that homes in a little bit for us. Thank you. Fire Tower. Plus four. It probably scales up better than the Shrieker, but the Shrieker is kind of different, so I'll take it. So I'll, I'll, I'll still do the Shrieker. Now we drop the bony dragon, I think. Wait, why am I dropping that? I don't know. Just ditch it. I'm gonna have to walk all the way back for that stupid uh, blacksmith back there. Ah, oh, ah, whoa, calm down. One. Are you dead? No. Ow. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. Dragon chaser. No, thank you. Justice. There's a gun that I don't enjoy. Ooh. Total eradication. The lower the enemy's total HP, the higher damage you deal up to under 60%. A rare inscription is added to your weapon, which takes effect where the weapon is enhanced by its essence chain. It's got to be total eradication. Do you think stars is actually not that bad? But I'm gonna go with this. Crits deal 50% damage directly to enemies' HP rather than a shield or armor. That's good. Eight eighty. Looking at the big damages here. Hmm. Looks like they might scale better than the Shrieker, but at least the Shrieker is something different because I've done so many. Melee gun builds, no doubt. My god, give me some movement speed. I think we just take the straight damage for boss sakes, right? Yeah, we must. Look at how many we've taken into Phantom Mastery already, apparently. <laughs> Plus range? Yeah. All right. Oh, keep this crap. Ow. 
Ow. Hello? I don't know if I have some kind of cheese for this right now, really. Okay. Which way to get over there again? I have, like, nothing to help us with this. Wait, don't I have a fire tower? That helps a little bit, I guess. Fuck! Is it over here? I kind of forget. Been a long time, been a long time. Please, game. Apparently this challenge event is hard, chat. I feel like this is, when you read like the reviews for the game, this is like the number one thing people complain about. After dashing three times, gain immunity to all damage for two seconds. Hey Spock, plus one max HP for each enemy kill. Eh. Erosion damage plus 75% immune to the negative effects of decay. I don't really have, I don't trigger corrosion with anything. I mean, there's a chance I could. We could find some things that help us with that, I guess. I don't know about Wind Rider here. Maybe? I don't know. Uh, not a fan of it. The movement feels too clunky. Yeah. Oh, look at my, let me look at the synergies a little, little bit. Damage type of current weapon converts into corrosion. This gives me 2 out of 3. Max HP plus 30%. Hmm. Maybe I just go for the synergy here. Because don't. I'm pretty sure we have something that scales our damage with our max HP in some way. So we can try, and it, try to kind of do that. Okay. All right, now we have to go back to the blacksmith. I'm sorry, chat. <laughs> now we have to go back. Kind of feels like they might as well just put it put it at the end of the stage every time or something, right? Is this one's like right at the start? Apparently, there's something up there too. Well, I don't know if I can get up there. No! Platforming in a first-person shooter? Yeah. I don't think it's a good addition to the game, really. So close to doing another. I don't think there can be money in those. Alright, let's go. At least it's optimal. Yeah, right. But it is kind of just like one of those things, kind of like how I, like, I complain in games where breaking the, uh, you know, the stuff, you know, like objects around the room like this, like breaking every single one is most optimal in order to win. Like, I don't like that. I guess I can see why that's also a problem. Okay, plus 15% lucky shot chance if you don't own any curse scrolls. I do own one because I'm immune to them. Plus 15 shield or armor for each curse scroll you own. Either way, I think that's pretty worth it. No, 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 no. Taking damage, restore 3% HP. I don't know if there's any synergies with that, but we probably just take it, honestly. Sure. More bone dragons. Times 1.2. Interesting. Hey, I'll kill. And we're broke. Okay. 2022. Any other behind in times, huh? <laughs> oh, man. Music? There we go. This 
looks like our gun does a pretty sizable chunk still, huh? Oh, come on. Don't you dare. Phase two. Pretty good, I'd say. YouTube probably show up. Yay. Yeah, it's been fun. I love getting back into it. Any excuse to play this game. Backup shield sounds good. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, but look at Unstoppable Phantom. Enemies can be struck by cudgel up, up to two times in a single soul strike. Oh. I think you still take the damage, though. But this is the one that we really needed earlier, I think. Yeah, that like is yeah, this this goes from 140% to 280%. I think we still do this, right? Yeah. This one really need though. Killing an enemy with the hell weapon increases base damage of the next shot or the offhand weapon. Yeah, that'll never I'm just looking at these uh Gemini's now kinda. Share an element. I kinda don't want the element, though, trying to do it like a non-elemental thing. A oh, wombo combo? Did I miss that? <laughs> uh, let's go. Uh, just beat dead cells. Do boss two boss cells. Congrats. Ooh, ultimate gambler. Skill Freak doesn't work. There is a 75% slash 25% chance for a secondary skill to deal 200%. Oh, they nerfed Skill Freak, I think. Yeah, it's gotta be Gambler here. Gotta be that juicy gamble, right? Let's go. You work in an adult, you work in an adult store? Interesting, that's fascinating. I always wondered, like, what are the hour, what are the hours of operation for an adult store exactly? Because it's something tells me it's not like a, you know, a 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. kind of place. You know, it, something tells me they ain't got the banking hours, right? And I'm sure with the invention of the internet, you know, things are things can be tough. You know. Okay. Okay. Octopi down. The regular enemies are pretty easy for us to bomb. The bosses feel a little different as it is. One closer home closes at seven. I don't know why I bothered. Why did I do this? Am I stuck? Okay. We're fine. Uh, oh crap, I looked away. Or I was looking at other things. Come on. Die, please. 186k. Pretty juicy hit. We're a special store with rooms in the back. Ooh. Like a little surprise rooms. I was just looking for the meat department, but I guess I got... I bit off more than I can chew. Then again, the name of the, the, name of the back could probably double as the meat department anyway. <laughs> Give $342, reroll all inscriptions of the selected weapon. Uh... Oh, it has base weapon damage up, so we probably leave it. Don't like how I emphasize Chew? Oh, y'all are such prudes. Jeez. Yep. 
I went into one once in Providence, Rhode Island. I don't, I wish I could remember the name of it. I'd be openly discussing the name of it, but I don't remember. I went into one once. It was like, it was like 1130 at night. And that place was hopping, it was hopping. But you couldn't tell who was an employee and who wasn't. Hmm. Like I had no idea. There was no one behind the register. They're all just chatting it up in the store. They're having a gr grand old time, I gotta say. I didn't buy anything. You had to get buzzed in also, I remember. There was like a camera and everything on the outside. And it was like, the building was totally unmarked, no windows. It was kind of creepy, but once you got in, it wasn't, it was actually pretty, uh, you know, the decorations were kind of more lighthearted, I guess you could say. <laughs> but it was so nondescript on the outside. Why'd I go? Uh, it was kind of like a... I'll admit it wasn't because like I was interested in anything, so it was probably annoying to the people that work there. Oh my god. I feel like this might be the death of me. It was one of those things like, haha adult store let's go kind of thing right mm. this is not okay there we go there's a big hit i need more big hits please more big hits thank you oof you described my store but <laughs> the customers Hmm, no. I want to try that arc light. You miss escape rooms? Yeah, that was a big thing for a little while, right? So this is fine because I have immunity to curse scrolls. And I even get a benefit for every curse scroll I have. Ooh, okay. And plus I get plus 50% weapon damage. I mean, that doesn't a chance. I mean, that's pretty good, but 2,000 is actually not that much. Yeah, we got to go third time on Lucky here. Although, might not get that much out of it anymore. They're not there anymore. Um, they may have probably... I bet they got hit pretty hard from the pandemic. Right? Whoa, I'd love to try one out. That'd be a good one to do like as a stream, but I mean, I'm going to face the facts, which is that I'm, that's probably never going to happen. <laughs> Why am I so slowed? Cool escape room video games. Wife and I keep looking at them because we like those point and click adventures. So we're thinking about it. Ah, here we go. Now that'll start juicing things up, I think. So now the cudgel can hit multiple times. I don't remember if there's like a blacksmith in this level, but I really don't feel like just walking backwards to find out. Did we do the vault? Can't remember. I, 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 it went in my brain and I just went right afterwards. Backseating in the escape room would be brutal. That's like one of those things like... It, well, let's say I bring wife on board to try out something like an escape room with me. And we, uh, either in real life or as a game. Right? That's one of those things like I just wouldn't read. We just wouldn't read chat. We just focus on the things at hand. That would be the truth. But then uh, we're putting the mods through potentially a lot of business.
Uh... Elite Corrupt Monk appears. Oh, is that you? Lead Agile Monster. What the hell does that mean? Would you die? Okay, apparently that worked. Nothing over here, right? Nope. I do all the voices for Disco Elysium. After doing Boyfriend Dungeon and like reading everything that was said, trying to do doof goofy voices sometimes, that's just, it wears you out so fast. It wears you out so fast. I don't know how some people do it. Like, my voice is just gone. I know I kind of do a lot of talking anyway, but there's something about... Uh, the actual reading of it that makes it so much more, uh... painstaking in a way. This is like super range build that's extremely safe in some ways. Whether or not it deals the boss damage though is questionable still. I hope I get the snake. Okay. That final DPS check? Yeah. Well, if we lose it, we lose it. Destroy a uh, selected curse scroll. No. Ooh, just gain money. The more curse scrolls you get. Okay. Sounds pretty good to me. We might lose it, but at least it was kind of interesting. Yeah, this is the first monkey run still. We got like a E build going. You can see we have uh, four cooldowns of it. Cooldowns? Four uses of it, which is pretty bonkers. Did we finish the bat? I don't know, Andy set it up. Boop. You tell me, chat. Well, Tiger Kanan. Wow, 1292. It's not as high as my Shrieker, but I bet it scales up a lot faster. It doesn't even have anything that adds weapon damage to itself. You gotta say. Let me see, what's the prediction? Beat boss to this run? The answer was yes. I think I'm just gonna start for boss four. Totally beat Polar Bear this run, including the DPS check and everything. Yes, no. Five minutes, place your betties. Okay. Our weapon deals actually quite a bit, I gotta say. Kind of a shocking amount. Yeah, it's still not hitting that hard, I gotta say. We really needed to hit, multi like, many, many times. Five times or more, please. And even then, I don't know. Ow. Please don't kill me. Looking around. Trying to figure out what's getting me. Woo! It's definitely not uh, doing as much. If you fail it, the battle just continues. Oh, it's not a strict DPS check anymore. Interesting. Weapon one and two combine their crit X bonus, but minus 50% stability. I think I take this because it's a 3.5 X crit X, right? Which is quite high. Get rid of the hell. We'll get rid of the fire tower now. It's really just for the Gemini. I gotta re-roll this one. Dun, 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 dun. Just tuned in, and uh, is this the game spamming wind skill from afar and everything dies? 
I mean, no. There was like dozens, if not a hundred choices made already that got us to this point. <laughs> Weirdly simplistic way of looking at it. I mean, you could say the same thing about any other game that we've played, like Hades. Gain one stack of phantom skin. Really good defensive. That's terrible. Non-crits? Uh, I mean, this is just really strong defensive, is it not? Pretty insane. Do whenever you take damage, destroying 30% of your shield slash armor. Ooh, whoops. I think we do that. Ba -da -dum. Bum, 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 bum. Bum. Yeah. <laughs> right, I mean, I don't know what do you, you expect when uh, you tune in for like 90 seconds. Is this it? Yep, this is the whole game. Nothing else ever happens ever when you play it. There's no other way to play the game either, also. I can't remember if there was a blacksmith. Maybe not. I think it's kind of guaranteed. This is a re this would be an incredibly difficult game to pick up just from watching someone else play. You'd have to watch a lot. It's got to be this. Damn, that's nice. That's not that bad either, honestly. I mean, like, like a most, this is a rather complex game that would require a lot of either a ton of watching or you just got to play it a little bit yourself, really. Mm. Yeah, minimum, the minimum is crazy, really. Okay. The Shrieker was probably a mistake in hindsight. Oh, but it does have plus 47% like, well, all right, I need to reforge it. Whoops. Hello? Red X? Red X? Red X? I'm not made of money. There we go. Mm hmm. Like, yeah, I'm skipping reading a lot of text because I'm just familiar with it, but there's a lot, there's a lot to learn and a lot to read. Casting a secondary skill with 50% chance of double consumption. Yeah. I'd rather just roll past that. This doesn't really matter. Making sure I doubt there was anything I'd want. Eh, maybe there could be. We would have to have the same Gemini probably already. Oh crap, I didn't get anything? Well, the other one was kind of useless anyway. 4x, but I don't want to roll it. That's 3x, that's worse. 2x. In excess. Okay. Uh. We move so slowly. This definitely doesn't have the same, like, uh, I know it looks like we're doing well, but as soon as we hit an enemy with hit a boss with a lot of HP, I bet things are going to feel very different. Um, do a plan. Dentist over. You are weeks of Invisalign. How, how painful is that Invisalign? 
I think you said it sucked pretty bad at first. Good weekend? Good weekend. Strong weekend. Had a small family party. One of my nieces is going off to college. Good luck to them. Well wishes, etc. Oh god, that's a lot to read. You were supposed to be done with Invisalign today. It's bad at first and your teeth hurt for a day or two after you put it into a liner. Nothing Motrin can handle, gotcha. My energy stack, 33% chance to instantly max up stacks? What? Using primary secondary skill consumes all energy, increase scale. Blah, 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 blah. I mean, it's still good. Uh, seems unlikely I'd want a lot of these. But just in case. Um, oh, that was the enhanced one. Oh, gotcha. This game has a lot of different ways to play it. There are melee weapons where you want to get up close. I don't know if really dodging is really a common thing in the game. Like, there's perfect time time dodging or anything like that. But there are builds you can go down and you could uh, use a melee weapon to get up close and deal damage to them, and they can be quite strong. There's really, like, dozens of different ways to play it. Like, I couldn't even cover everything right now. God damn it. I'm just gonna be struck up to three times. I forgot I could roll these, by the way, I think. Do it? Uh... You kind of got to roll with what you get, too, to some degree. It's not like you can force any one particular build. It depends on your difficulty, but... This has a high one. No... I don't know if it's worth rolling. Let me look at this real quick. Uh, oh, oh. See, if you don't know what I'm orgasming over, it's hard to get excited about it, but that's really good. Bloop. I don't know. Plus 75% weapon and skill damage minus 75% max HP. I hit the wrong button again. Let's go. If you just want to know, is this game worth your time? If you like first-person shooters and you like roguelikes, you're guaranteed to like this game, I, I think. If you're kind of iffy on one or both genres, it's like, you might like it, you might not. Simple as that. It's a really nice game. It's very cheap. It's very worth, worth the price by the majority of people's standards. If your standard is so high that you don't think this game is worth the price, then ugh. There are some things you might not like about it, but... Uh, let's look at the peddler first. You might want that. Well, I'm not really shooting that often, also. Uh... I don't know. I don't know, chatties. Probably not then. After playing RoboQuest, it's hard to come back to this one. Yeah, RoboQuest is a lot of fun. Yeah, everything just feels a lot slower. Uh, especially like this particular... The last run, we actually had a decent amount of move speed. It'd be kind of nice if they had a faster-paced run, I think. Hmm. I don't think so. Did we get the snake? Fuck, I didn't get the snake. God damn it, I keep doing that. What's that? Ooh. Ooh, baby. That might be worth it, because we have something that scales up our damage with how much HP we have? Oh, right. Wait. I, oh, no. That's bad. Yeah. Minus 75% HP. I forgot. Yep. You're right. I, I, I'm glad you reminded me. I almost bought it. 
I almost bought it. That would have been a really bad. <laughs> would have been a big waste. I'll admit, like, this is kind of a weird... I've made some weird choices here. Yeah, that'd be really terrible. We'd have to just drop it. Ah, oh, crap. So wait, what's the thing that scales with how much HP I have? Because I might... Is Deadly Curse even worth it? Not that one. No. No. Plus 1% skill damage for every 5 total max HP you currently have. I normally have like 75 or something. If I could drop Deadly Curse, pick up the other one, and is that, is that would that be better? 75, so it would be at like 205. 205, so it would be like 205%. Is that correct? Is there a cap? That might be worth it. What do you think? Do I have enough money? I do. So we drop Deadly Curse. Yeah, I have Veteran too. I don't know how useful that's going to be, but... Because Deadly Curse is only 75%, but it is all damage, I believe. Where the hell is it? Oh, no. Oh, it's weapon and skill damage. Uh... Extra HP is way more safe. That's sort of what I'm thinking. There's a pretty big difference. There should be, at least. Oh, wait, every five... No, every five HP I get 1%. I didn't do the math right. So, let's say, let's say I have 200, right? Divided by five, so that's only 40%. So I lose a little bit of damage, but I gain more safety, correct? I should. I think. Yeah. I'm gonna call it worth it. 231 health. I think the safety's worth it. Uh, yeah, I'm, o I'm okay. Alright, skip. Nice chain. This bot- Oh, no. Okay, you said I was gonna be harder to kill! I get hit by something stupid. We're fine, we're fine. Bonk, 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 bonk. <laughs> oh no, why does it have to hit me every time? Go away, go away, octopus. Octopus? Okay. Whew. Six-year-old bread box throwing Helion off hell in a cell or something. Oh, fuck me. Really? I even looked. This is bad. I keep almost dying. Oh, come on. I swear I was out of that. Death. Saw a big nine 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 number. We almost died so many times. Look at my max health now. I wonder why it got jacked up so much right there. You were two babies, is what y'all are. I mean, I was four years old and wait, no, 1998. No, I was 10 years old in 98. But still, y'all are babies. Well, we go for the cudgel. There's something weird about the term cudgel, I feel. It sounds kind of... It sounds too close to cuddle. Ooh, I could re-roll for a critical cudgel. But I don't think we do. Every level of the... Plus 35% crit chance. Every level of the held weapon increases crit chance. i never even seen this one. You were non-existent. See? Babies. Guess I'll just take the range. Looks like we're dealing some D. Oh, I didn't read that one. That one could have had a higher crit X. What do you got? Oh, oh, wait. Oh? Oh, right. Smallgasm? I think that's a small. It's still good. 
it's better with curse with the curse thing though admittedly right i mean it's still better i believe it's bad for it's technically bad for someone with a lot of max hp yeah a deadly curse would have been way better because we would only have like 25 max health so it would only hit us for 14 percent of 25 max health right it's yeah it's pretty much always good still though because it would require how many hits to kill us still seven or eight which is a lot all right let's go polar bear let's go yeah all right so i have to get rid of one to take this if not that that's not great ultimate gambler is less good now no these are terrible but you could probably just get rid of the occult booster now right yeah this one's fine i guess oh it lowers our primary skill cooldown too i just realized mostly it's a uh, from it it's a uh, goes backwards to two or whatever do i get do i drop gambler you can get you usually get a few more still Nothing make me feel felt older than watching the Simpsons movie and realizing it came out in 2007. I thought that movie came out like five years ago. Maybe. You know what I mean? That, that's what I thought. I don't know why, but it made me feel extra old. It felt like it just came out still. Doubt we'd want any of these. Just looking at the crit X number. So this one is slightly better, but only ever so slightly. Probably not even worth it. We have an incredibly high lucky shot chance. So that's impossible, I believe. Because of spirit feline. Yeah, the primary skill is based off your weapon damage. So I'll admit the Shrieker was probably not the best option, but we're kind of stuck with it now. So I'm just, I just chose something with high base damage. Pretty sure the 20% health one is impossible to have work. Okay. Like Bone Dragon. I think the highest scaling one might be the Tiger Cannon for straight up base damage. Some of the uh, swords were pretty high, too. Woo! This tanks my my dam my <laughs> my damage with that scroll. I know, huge mistake. I love it when it, they tell me something in chat, like, "Dude, you just messed up." I'm like, "What did I do wrong? Have you played this game?" Oh no, I've never played. But I read the thing on the screen. It's like, oh, okay. I guess you win. You win this round, Twitch chat. All right, can these things die, please? All right, I think it's this one that's the main one. Oh, we got it. Somehow, eventually. But Haliot, I can know things about the game without having played. It's like, sure, you could. But you're gonna have a harder time proving it to me. <laughs> when hit by enemies, minus 10% movement speed for 10 seconds, 40% chance to beat immune to all damage i don't know about that no 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 damn that's so that's so safe with spirit feline wait how does that even work with spirit feline but then i lose all my d you know all my big d not that big of a d Ooh, the watch oh the watch is so good here though right watch is very strong
It's total HP? Oh, it's HP and the shield? Wait, really? I thought I just said HP. Oh. Well, it says max HP. The wording is max HP. But I would think it wouldn't, wouldn't take into account the shield. Oh, it doesn't say that. It doesn't say that. Total max? But that doesn't mean that. Hello? I need better wording. Nah. Yeah, the game's not terrible with the translations, but it could be, it could be better. I've seen worse, though. For the most part, you can understand everything that's happening. Trying to get some max HP via veteran here. Okay. Yeah, warm snow. My god, that was the worst. Such a nice game, but it was so bad. And it didn't look like they really cared. Like, I don't think they were going to fix it. I'm pretty sure they still haven't. Easy. We have immunity. No, we look for the critical one. Let's look for the critical one. Fudge. Wait, every five hits of Essence Chain will trigger a soul strike with one cudgel hit? That's not too bad, uh, at least. Little fruit flying around. I guess that's okay. I'm really not spamming it, though. Is this better? Because every enemy affected plus 8% total skill damage. I don't know which one's better here. I don't know. Plus more 8% more skill damage? I'm not sure. Could probably go either way. Wombo Combo just has a fun name. That's why we're taking it. Karate, hello. How was your stream, Tarante? I don't know why I'm thinking about this so hard. How's the DLC? It's nice. Some cool new stuff. The game modes is more like... I kind of feel like the synergies should just be baseline and not even a game mode thing. Like, it has to be something that you tick off, but it really just allows, if you pay attention, the scrolls, or scrolls, and potentially your weapon type and some skills. Some, like, goblet choices, I think, exactly. Oh, you're dead. To add a additional benef beneficial effects if you have, like, three of a similar type kind of thing. I feel like that should just be baseline in the game, honestly. New game mode was also a mistranslation. Yeah, it's not... It's not much of a game mode, to be honest. It's more like game modifiers. I guess. Oh, that's a four times. It's better than my scalpel then. Right? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. Let's go, baby. Oh, look at that health. Oh, God, GS. What are the game modifiers? One is the synergy thing, which is hard to really cover. But essentially, I have zero this run, by the way. I haven't really been paying attention to them. I'm still not used to it. If you get three similarly themed things, oh my god. Sure. Uh, you'll get extra effects. Like last run, we had three similar scrolls plus goblet skills, which gave us an extra plus 60% skill damage, essentially. Um... I love the red numbers, don't you, chat? Hello? Remind me to restart the game after this in case we encounter, like, a crash or something. The other one is this zone just gets much harder, supposedly. 
But as of right now, I cannot tell that there's a difference. I mean, both of our builds have been pretty strong so far, but it was still pretty much what it normally feels like. Not complaining, but I just don't really know. Like, why would I even check this off if I can't even feel the difference? I don't know. It could be like reincarnation of one is a little bit on the easier side nowadays for us. But this is how we discover the broken stuff. I don't think this would actually work super well at very high difficulties. It might be time for me to finally beat Reincarnation 8 with this DLC coming out, though. I would have loved some kind of quick mode, speed mode. Boss rush. That's kind of not enough bosses to bother with that, I think. Right? Unless, oh, you could do all the bosses, even the random ones, right? So you do both of the first stage bosses, right? Both of the stage two bosses, both of the stage three bosses. And that's actually fine. What do you think? Challenge succeed. I don't have DLC, but I call up with someone who does. Can I still get the DLC webs? I think the webs our baseline, but I'm not positive. <laughs> Automatic weapons can continue to fire with empty magazine, blah, 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 blah. I'll never utilize it. Might as well recycle it for money. It doesn't stop your friend from dropping and sharing, though. Fascinating, if so. Oh, you're dead? Okay. Maybe our damage is higher than I thought. Well. Crazy modifiers for the boss rush to work. I mean, you could just make it so... You get, like, three goblets in between each boss fight or, or something like that, right? few weapon drops maybe some you uh, know you probably don't even have to alter how many weapon drops there are or anything huh wow no oh, thank you no that's okay but i really wanted to roll for the crit chance on this thing. Oh, I got scram. No. Ah, nah, it just doesn't really do anything. Taking damage, all hits will become crit hits. Sounds good. Regret doubting. Yeah, we got, we got pretty lucky. I mean, look at we went for something kind of specific. Look, I'm only missing three levels from the tree. Even this one was like a really strong take. I think our lucky shot chance is actually really high. Eh, we took a gamble and lost, whatever. Wait, what'd that say? Oh, that was actually pretty good. Two cudgel hits, even. Wow. Wombo combo. All right, peddler. Okay. Sounds good to me. No. Lucky shot chance. So, oh, did I roll that? No, I didn't. Okay. Yeah, you get a debuff. When keep when keep dealing weapon damage or skill damage, the damage that will gra decrease gradually. This effect will disappear if another kind of damage is dealt. So you just can't spam the same move, I guess? 
Did I get a haircut like a week ago? Eoe, hey, Monday. All right. I can't bear to see you. No. Oh shit, look at that burst. Maybe it is stronger than the last run. <laughs> wow. I thought the last run was strong. Watch that health go down. Oh, one hit, one kill. <laughs> Get wrecked, doubters. Uh, I wonder what our biggest hit was then. That was fun. Yeah, I bet. I bet the single target damage, the single damage, because the last run it was our biggest hit was like 826k. This looked much better than that, did it not? 170 million? No way. I don't know what my biggest hit's been. Don't know. 2.6 mil, baby. That was our highest piece of damage. And our weapon was only level 24. And it wasn't even like the most optimal weapon. It could have been better. In other words. Boom. Easy. 63 minutes. Dunzo.